California Governor Jerry Brown today approved spending an additional $1 billion over five years on wildfire prevention. This year, fires have burned more than 7.3 million acres. That is well above average. 71 large fires are burning tonight in 11 states. Carter Evans went to a lab where scientists are trying to understand a growing threat, fire tornadoes. It's something most people had never seen before this summer. A massive fire tornado, a thousand feet wide with wind speeds up to 165 miles per hour. Oh my God! The towering funnel of flames and smoke devastated an area just outside Redding, California. There were vehicles that were rolled and moved. There were large power line towers that were torn off the base and actually blown through the air. Mechanical engineer Jason Forthoffer specializes in fire tornadoes. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, I have not. So it's already starting the rotation? Yep. At the Forest Service Fire Lab in Montana, Forthoffer helped design some of the newest experiments to study the phenomenon. What are you learning here about them in the lab? We know enough to understand some of the ingredients that cause fire whirls, but we're not too close to being able to predict actually when and where they will occur out on the ground. Fire tornadoes can form when swirling winds, often behind a mountain, are heated by a wildfire and start to rise, forming a tight column of rotating flames and smoke. Fourth offer says fire tornadoes, like this recent one in Canada that sucked a hose up into its vortex, are a fairly common occurrence. They're just not often caught on camera. It seems like these fires are getting bigger and bigger every year. Should we expect to see more fire tornadoes? Yeah, I would say just because it seems like we're having more intense fires, and so the fire tornadoes sort of correlate with that. That's increasing the pressure to understand the phenomenon now that fire season in the West is almost year-round. Carter Evans, CBS News, Missoula, Montana.